Okay. If I make a uh, flow diagram for activity research process, so it is composed of a aeration tank. This is aeration tank. And then a secondary clarifier. Secondary clarifier with the recycling, uh, rec recycling sludge. This, we call it return activated sludge. And a stream for waste, sludge waste is wasted or waste activated sludge or waste sludge. And we, um, if you assume the flow coming in is Q0 and uh, the substrate concentration in uh, the inflow is, is S0 and concentration of microorganism or biomass in inflow is X0. So this is inflow and here this is effluent. And if the volume of aeration tank, this is aeration tank, is V with, with concentration of microorganism or biomass S, and the concentration of substrate is S. Now change from S0 to S because it is, it is, it is a tank. And say if uh, water is, uh, is coming here from uh, secondary clarifier, from the bottom secondary clarifier, QW, with the concentration of biomass XU. And if we are wasting the sludge, say QW, uh, and uh, say, say this one is not QW, this one is QU and X uh, W or say X U means concentration, concentration of biomass in under drain and the sludge we are wasting say is Q W with concentration of uh, biomass uh, in the sludge is X W the base sludge and the substrate concentration is S W while we, we have return flow return activity cells process sludge is Q uh, R and uh, concentration is will be the same XU. Then the flow flow which is going out from aeration tank is Q naught plus Q W or Q sorry Q R Q R and then flow going out is Q not minus whatever is, is coming from under drain. I mean the waste was is QW. With with the concentration of biomass X E and the concentration of substrate say as E. This gives the whole uh, flows uh, in activity service process. So we, we name all of the flows. So uh, any question up to now? I just named the streams. Any question from you? Hmm? No question? No, sir. Okay, you understand well. So, I, uh, in last class, I introduced the concept of uh, sludge retention time. And I told you that sludge retention time is the time the biomass is stay in the system because biomass is is recycled back in the system. It is it is us. It is I told you by definition is to biomass in the ration tank divided by a biomass. Waste it daily from from here. This is stream. So if I if I write it in mathematically, the biomass in the aeration tank will be the concentration multiplied by the volume 
and the biomass we are wasting daily is the flow multiplied by concentration. So I can write this uh, uh, for, for solid retention time. The solid retention time by convention we can write theta c. So theta c is xv our uh, qwx uh, w. So by uh, by by choosing theta c, if we know the concentration of biomass in aeration tank and the volume of of the aeration tank, we can find out how much uh, we have to waste every day. So it means that by wasting so much every day, we can control the solid retention time or the time biomass is stay in the system. I introduced this in the last class. If I make a, a mass balance, mass balance by by defining the boundary over the entire system. So, so if this is the boundary, this is boundary, and after defining this boundary, then we apply the mass mass balance. Means whatever coming in should be equal to whatever is going out. So I can write for biomass for microorganism or biomass mass balance for for biomass over the entire boundary so i can write this uh, biomass coming in should be equal to biomass going out but because this is biological reaction occurring in the aeration tank, biomass is e eating or consuming substrate and growing. So biomass actually is being produced in the aeration tank. So we have to add biomass as appearing in the aeration tank. So biomass not only coming in, but also being appeared. So for this term, I have to write biomass appear in ration tank or biomass produced in the ration tank, right? I can write like this. So let's see uh, uh, what is what biomass is coming in. So if you see here biomass in influent coming in is actually uh, in terms of mass, in terms of uh, not concentration, biomass is coming Q naught X naught. Okay, this is coming in. And how much is, is going out? Biomass going out from two, two places. It's one from F, F1 and one from uh, the, waste, the sludge we are wasting. So let's see from biomass, which is, which is, in, which is going out from F1 is, is uh, Q0 minus QW multiplied by Xe plus from here, QW, XW, right? So, but if we, we have to consider biomass is, is growing in the, in the reactor. So they are changing with time. In the volume, we, so we have to write this, this drum, this reaction drum. So biomass is coming in, plus being produced should be equal to Biomass is going out in effluent and in the waste sludge. So we have to assume something here. We assume the biomass which is coming in here, X node, actually is very small. We assume there is no biomass coming in. In actual, there is some biomass coming in, but as compared to uh, biomass being produced in the aeration tank, this concentration of biomass coming in the in front means butter coming in is very small. So we can just uh, assume this term this is zero. So what what left here now? Also, we 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 have to assume that the biomass which is going out should be very small. 
because bio, we, we capture the biomass in the ration tank here. So the biomass uh, concentration which is going out, Xe should be very, very small. So Xe, Xe it should be equal to zero. So we can also uh, assume this two term is approaching zero. Now what, what left here is two term on that. So for dx over dt, you remember some time ago in the last semester, I, I, I mentioned to you the monod kinetics mu is equal to m mu uh, mu m is equal to mu uh, mu s or k s plus s and and I I mentioned that. Mm, this mu is actually dx by dt over x is equal to mu s over ks plus s. And then I, we, we, can, we can write here dx over dt is equal to mu s over ks plus s multiplied by x. So we can, we can from monod kinetics, uh, we can uh, write uh, this expression here. So I write here now from one of kinetics mu s or k s plus s uh, multiplied by x x or volume b is equal to q w x w. So um, uh, if I rearrange a little bit, so I can write like this mu. Well, I forgot one thing that also if we consider uh, net uh, growth, which is microorganisms which are growing and dying, we also uh, we also have to consider the decay. So we have to consider we have to put a decay term also. So let me rewrite again. For dx, mu s or k s plus s x v minus k d k d x v is equal to u w x w. So we can uh, simplify this term. Uh, Using um, uh, using this x mu s or k s plus s is equal to q w x w or v x minus dt. So we can we can write this term uh, so Sir, less, plus KD yoga. Well, we can write here plus. It doesn't matter because this is plus KD and then it, it is KD is decaying anyway, so we can put it anyway. So this equation number one. So for biomass uh, concentration, biomass uh, mass balance, we can write like this. Similar thing we can write for substrate. Substrate. Substrate which is coming in. A substrate is coming in from where? In from Q naught S naught. And 
Hence, substrate which is going out also from uh, Q naught minus Q W S E, and also from from the waste such Q W S W. But biomass is substrate is being consumed also. So substrate is being consumed in the tank. So we can write like this now. Now, now re remember this uh, this re this uh, picture. Substrate is coming in here. If we assume substrate is now here also. If we assume that there is no reaction occurring in in the primary clarifier, primary clarifier is just uh, separating uh, the biomass. Then this substrate here and this substrate here will be the same, and also will be the same. In this case, we can assume that uh, this substrate SW is S and this SE is also S. So uh, we can, and uh, remember before also uh, when we were talking in the last semester, we mentioned that DS, DW, and DS or change of substrate with time in aeration tank is 1 by y mu m x s or k s plus s. This term we, we have discussed in last class. So instead of this this change of substitute time, we can use this one. So we will write here mu naught s naught plus v by y mu m x s or k s plus s. Now this term q naught and this one is s so s minus q w s plus q w and s s is s so these two terms are cancelled out. Now we can write this expression also mu m s I, I, I made a mistake here. This one is actually, uh, uh, I'm sorry. When it, uh, let, me sell it, let me correct it. This one is actually uh, mu, and this one is mu m. So this is mu m, this is mu m. So here we have to have mu m. So I, I write here mu m x x s mu m or k s plus s is equal to uh, I will take this q s the other side and take q not common q not uh, s not minus s or v x and y. So this is equation number two. So if you if you consider the equation number one, which is this one, and equation number two, which is here, the right and left hand side is same. So we can equate both of them, you see, you can see here. So we can equate both of them, and then we can write like this. Uh, uh, Q, W, X, W, or V, X, V, X is minus K, D is equal to Q naught, S naught minus S, Y, or V, X. We can write like this. And if we solve this equation, this more simplify it and with some more uh, more uh, um, with, with, the, with the concept of uh, theta c which is v x over q w x w uh, and the theta is equal to v by q if we solve this equation, we can write finally equation for x 
which is x is equal to theta 0 over theta s of y s naught minus s 1 plus kd theta c 1 plus kd theta c so we can we can arrive at this equation and this equation you see here uh, y is is a yield coefficient and s naught is substrate concentration in in front s is substrate concentration in aeration time theta c is is the theta c is, is the sludge retention time and theta is hydraulic retention time and kd is decaying co coefficient so uh, we can compute we can compute the concentration of, of biomass in aeration time if we know the theta c in sludge retention time if we know the hydraulic retention time if we select a constant yield coefficient and decaying coefficient and if we know the concentration of substrate in effluent in front and effluent so we can compute uh, this uh, this term is concentration of biomass in in the aeration tank so i stop here one minute and i want to ask you if you have any any question anybody has any question so here uh, y is constant why is so yield, yield coefficient uh, this is yield coefficient also we discussed what is yield coefficient in last semester it sir is, uh, it's uh, its value uh, is it depending on uh, theta or uh, the any other thing or maybe its value is constant one only one value uh, it has only one value or it has some range we have to select uh, any of the range and put of here and we, to find it out. It is not a constant for for specific some some wastewater. For example, uh, we discussed it in also last semester. If wastewater is, uh, you take wastewater for for domestic. I mean, you take domestic wastewater, and then compute or or estimate the value of y that you can use it. If it is if wastewater is from industry, the value of y will be different. So there is a there is a range of these uh, y values, and then usually we for domestic wastewater we take a typical uh, or average value. So there is of course a range depending on what type of wastewater is this, whether it is it has more organic matter, more biodegradable organic matter or not. We have discussed it because the what is what is y by the way what is yield coefficient is change of biomass with consumption of um, substrate so substrate define how much biomass is is increased or will, will will not increase the substrate is very easily biodegradable there will be more biomass if substrate is difficult to degrade there will be less biomass so but for a tip for a for particular wastewater this value will be the same will be the constant but if you take another wastewater which has different substrate y value will be different but for that way water that y value will be the same so it will be the constant do you understand yes sir okay any other question Any other question? Everybody understand everything, right? If yes, then I go further. So um, I will stop to mute on. Okay. So you can compute the concentration of biomass. I'm sorry, it become very small now. You can compute the concentration of biomass. In, in here, uh, in the aeration tank, if you know certain constants, I mean certain constant value, theta c is, if you, if you fix theta c, means sludge retention time, and if you fix the hydraulic retention time, 
then y is a constant and theta kd is a constant and if you know s not means infinite concentration and if you know the concentration of of substrate in in addition time or in effluent is the same thing then you can compute it you can know how much no if you if you use this equation and expand for theta c so it will be like this something like this x theta is equal to theta c y uh, s naught minus s and then here one plus k d theta c and then uh, I want to solve it for for theta c. So, um, or better, but I do like this. Um, x x or s not minus s theta y is equal to theta c over one plus kt kt theta c. I can write like this. I just separated the term theta c on side. So I can write like this and then I flip it both sides. I can do flip like then I can write like this s naught minus s y over x theta is equal to 1 plus kt theta c or theta c and then i can write uh, is correct right i have transferred i am i missed one thing did i miss anything no i think it's okay because i moved theta here y here this here 1 plus theta is here okay so uh i can write like this now uh, 1 over theta c plus kd theta c over theta c is equal to s naught minus s y over x theta. Okay, uh, I, I replace theta instead of theta, I replace back the value. This is 1 by theta c, theta is equal to v by q, q, and it will be q by v. I can write it like this, right? And I can do like this, 1 over theta c plus kd is equal to q by v, s naught minus s, y and x or i can write like the one over theta c is equal to q by v s naught minus s y and x minus kd can i write like this are you with me Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. Huh? I can write like this. Huh? Everybody agree, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. This equation has some significance. If I solve properly, then you see, you have to see uh, something here why is a constant for that particular type of wastewater kd is a constant and q is the constant flow which is coming in we know it and uh, v suppose we know the v and we know the v and x suppose we have set the value of x and S naught is also known because it is the K 
characteristic of wastewater which is coming in. If we know all of them, then what is the relationship between theta C? So theta C has some relationship with, with S, right? Some, something like this. It has some relation. So it, it means that if you decrease the theta C, you increase the substrate concentration in effluent. If you, if you increase the theta C, you decrease the substrate concentration in effluent, right? Right or not? I want to hear you. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So, what does it mean? It means that the theta C can control the concentration of substrate in effluent. By changing theta C, you can change the substrate concentration if, if all other things are known or constant. What is S? <laughs> S is coming. S is here. S E is actually S. And what is S? Is effluent substrate concentration. Is the concentration of B or D or C or D you want to have in effluent. And you want to make it as low as possible. So what you will do? You will increase the SRT. So you can control your system performance by controlling by controlling what theta c and what is theta c is sludge retention time and how you control sludge retention time by wasting the sludge you can control this so by, by controlling sludge retention time you can control your you can control the performance of your reactor this is theta C, which is sludge retention time. It's a controlling parameter. Well, if you are operating a, a bioreactor or wastewater treatment plant and you see your effluent concentration, substrate concentration in effluent is coming very high. And what you will do, you will increase the theta C. So it means you will stop wasting sludge and keep sludge in the system so that so much so that your effluent concentration will decrease. So it's a very good tool, right? It is just like a, it is just like a, it is just like staring in your car. You you have a stay in your car, turn left, you turn right, you control the movement of your car. Similar way, let us see the controlling parameter or controlling parameter for performance of your reactor. Okay. Now consider this equation again. So consider this equation again. This theta C. Theta C. Theta C is uh, is solid retention time. Suppose, suppose you not suppose. Suppose you know the you already know the flow, and then you said, I know the concentration of substrate in in an influent. Of course, you know because you know the characteristic of wastewater. You know how much BOD COD coming in. That is substrate. And you said, well, your environmental production agency said that your, you should have substrate concentration maximum that much, say 10 milligram per liter. So it means you already know this, you know, what should be your affluent substrate concentration because your, your agency uh, defined it. So uh, you have already 
you know you know already s not also you know s and why for that specific base order is known and the kd value is a constant for a specific uh, sludge so let's say you set you set x value some specific value say 2500 mg you you set it if you set this x value then now what is unknown is is volume right so if you know the theta c then you can find the volume you can determine the volume and what is volume is the dimension of your aeration tank so it means that you can design your aeration tank so if theta c is known you can find the dimension of your aeration tank it means that theta c is a design parameter for activated sludge process do you understand yes sir yes sir so theta c or sludge retention time for activated sludge process is a very important parameter because it is not only it is it is controlling parameter but when you design your reactor bio reactor in activated sludge process you you also uh, you can base your design based on Uh, solid retention time. So you fix solid retention time. You ten days, five days, how many, how many days, and also you define the value of x, and you know uh, what s you want to have. Then you can find what will be the volume of your reactor. You can design your aeration activated search process because what what are, what are the component of activated search process? There are two, two components. One is aeration time. so you can design aeration tank and what is other is is uh secondary clarifier and you don't know the secondary clarifier how it is and we just design secondary clarifier based on a uh, surface area no in surface or flow rate but later on i will discuss more about this activity such process that we have to to uh, function of clarifier was this clarifying function and one is thickening function so we will discuss later but um, also is based on how much sludge you are uh, wasting from from here which is actually is part of the solid retention time so you, your this whole design is based on actually in fact sludge sludge retention times sludge retention time is very very important uh, parameter and uh, you must remember the what is the sludge retention time so what is sludge retention time my question from you can anybody tell me what is sludge retention time so sludge retention time ye hota hai ke kitni time kitni der tak hamari jo sludge hai wo hamare system mein rehti hai to ye hota hai uska sludge retention time okay very good so uh we can uh, have uh we have two equation now which i mentioned the one is uh, this one you can compute the concentration of uh, biomass in aeration tank if you have already fixed the uh, sludge retention time and already you know the volume of the reactor or hydraulic retention time if you know the kinetic coefficient y means by yield coefficient if you know the substrate in front concentration substrate after concentration and decaying co coefficient then you can consider the other equation is is 1 by theta c is equal to anyway we, you can from this equation we can solve it and we can find the this equation in term of theta c or solid retention time but in many of uh, uh, your okay. reactors we must know minimum or optimum 
food to microorganism ratio. The food to microorganism ratio is substrate uh, concentration uh, divided by hydraulic energy time and the concentration of biomass. So we can write, uh, we can simplify the food to by um, microorganism ratio. Uh, in some bioreactor, food to microorganism ratio is it has is it is a design parameter, but active stress process it is not design parameter, but you can check food to microorganism ratio. Means how much food is available? This is food in in in, in mass. And how much per per kg or per gram of per unit uh, mass of uh, uh, biomass? That food to micro, you have to maintain some optimum food to micro organism ratio. You have to check your reactor what is food to micro organism ratio. So, food to micro organism ratio is low, it means that less food is present for large uh, or per kg or per unit mass of. Uh, reactor the reactor performance is will not be good. Okay, the same thing which I mentioned to you um, in previous discussion, and we can calculate using those discussion the total sludge production dairy from active activated sludge uh, process is uh, can be can be right in this term. This term is very similar to. Uh, the term which I mentioned to you that theta c is equal to x v our k uh, q w x w. So I can we can just write like the same equation the q w x w which is say sludge production is x v our uh, s r t or theta c. And then uh, we can we can write it. P X T uh, P X T V S S. So this is the same equation. This one is the same equation. But here P X T V S S is sludge production in term of V S S. So total solid wasted daily in term of gram of V S S per day. So we usually measure the biomass uh, in, in gram uh, V S S per in term of VSS. Mm. So uh, we can write like this. We can calculate how much biomass will be wasted daily using this equation. And XT here is total MLSS, MLVSS concentration in aeration time. MLVSS means Mixed liquor volatile suspended solid concentration. This is this is the biomass concentration, but if we call it mixed liquor. Mixed liquor if uh, in a ration tank because the ration tank has you know, water is coming in, substrate is coming in, and also biomass is inside, so it become we call it mixed liquor. Mixed liquor. So mixed liquor. Volatile suspended solid concentration. Usually we measure biomass in terms of uh, volatile suspended solids. So we we can uh, have this, this equation like, like for total such production daily. Also we can uh, rewrite the previous equation which, uh, which, I, which I arrive here. This one, the concentration of biomass in a little bit different form in here. This is the same, same equation. But it has a little bit more component. Now, this this component we discussed already. Is it, this one is the same? S R T is theta C, and and V theta is uh, hydraulic retention time. So this one is hydraulic retention time represented with tau. This is actually theta, and this is theta C. And then if we, this is also theta C. So this term is the similar here, same. But uh, Biomass, if we consider total, total concentration, the biomass not only depending on this uh, this term, which is actually based on uh, the biomass which is heterotrophic or based on growth of heterotrophic, but there will be some more uh, thing. Some, some some concentration of uh, biomass will will decay, so we can we have to consider the cell debris which is being produced also in the reactor. Not only the heterotrophic microorganism, 
we have to consider, but also the cell debris. And some non-biodegradable biodegradable volatile suspended solid is coming in effluent. Previously, we assumed that X naught is equal to zero when we were talking about and we, we thought X naught is equal to zero. But actually, there are some, some biomass or not biomass, but non-biodegradable volatile suspended solid. And because we cannot distinguish uh, VSS when it is it in the reactor, uh, it is biomass or not. So we have to consider the, that biomass which is coming in, sorry, the suspended solid or volatile suspended solid is coming in, in the implant, which is also come, later we count it as, as, as mixed liquor suspended solid. So we have to consider that portion also. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So we can write this uh, this term, this term here, total. This is total. Mixed liquor solid concentration. If we know the cell debris, you know how much of biomass is heterotrophic and also is non-biodegradable volatile suspension solid in implant. Uh, this section I took it from your textbook. You have to read page 592 to 5, uh, 596, Metcalf and Eddie. So for solid production, we can also write uh, solid production in terms of VSS. We can write three terms. So solid production will be because of the growth of heterotrophic biomass and the cell debris and non-biodegradable VSS in implant. We can write uh, these terms for heterotrophic, this term for cell debris, and this term for non-biodegradable volatile suspended solid and FD is fraction of biomass that remain as cell debris. And X not I is non-biodegradable degradable world as suspended solid concentration in front. Now this is in term of VSS. If we if we consider it in term of TSS, then we have to divide these terms A B with with 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.85 or 0 0.8 in your book is 0 0.85. It means that uh, VSS is equal to 0 0.85 TSS. So if you consider, uh, if you measure the TSS of a mixed liquor, 85% of that TSS will be volatile. So if we, if we have to calculate TSS, then TSS will be VSS divided by 0 0.85. So we have to divide this term A with 0 0.85 because this term is related to heterotrophic uh, biomass and term B also with 0.85 because this is related to cell debris, but not the C because C is something is coming in from in, in front. So we don't have to divide this with anything else, but we have to consider some more term. Something is coming TSS not minus TSS uh, minus VSS not, whatever coming is TSS initially in front minus VSS, it should be included also in cellular production in term of TSS. So TSS naught is influence TSS concentration and VSS naught is influence VSS concentration. So we can write this uh, this term also for solid production term of VSS, this term, this equation. The previous equation was in term of VSS. As uh, I mentioned to you earlier, also we can can, we can use this equation. X, the concentration of TSS multiplied by V is actually mass of mixed liquor suspended solid. And this term by definition of SRT is, is, is equal to this one. This thing is very important because if you know the concentration of TSS uh, in mixed liquor or you set it and you know the PX TSS and you set some as RT, you can calculate the volume.
Okay, so we can also rewrite the observed yield value with, with in terms of heterotrophic cell debris and uh, non biodegradable volatile suspended solid in influent like this. These terms are now considering the cell debris and this, this thing also. Previously, when we were discussing um, yield value, observe yield value, then we just discussed this matter in last semester. For because we supply oxygen uh, in the reactor, then we have to uh, consider oxygen requirement. The oxygen requirement should be equal to whatever substrate is used. Because substrate is used same time substrate is using oxygen. I mean, microorganisms are using oxygen, the microorganisms are also consuming substrate. So, how much substrate is consumed? Uh, that will define uh, the oxygen requirement minus 1.42 px bio. The px bio is biomass as VSS wasted per day. So, we have to consider this biomass wasted daily. The total term uh, is not equal to uh, uh, the oxygen requirement is not equal to whatever the substrate is consumed, but we have to consider how much uh, biomass uh, is wasted also, because that biomass wasted did not use uh, oxygen. So it is just wasted. So we have to remove this substrate, subtract this term from, uh, from this term here. And of course, we have to consider uh, conversion terms. 1.42 is conversion of uh, VSS in terms of oxygen. So, uh, or, 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 or it's similar term. There is some calculation for 1.42, which makes both terms in the same unit. I don't have time, otherwise we can discuss later, I mean, we'll, we can discuss more, but I don't discuss it. But you go to the section, uh, this section, and if you if you get some reference, go to the previous section and, and read it. So we can calculate anyway, uh, the oxygen requirement using this equation. And the PX bio is the biomass as VSS wasted per day. And R0 is oxygen, requirement in kg per day. And Q is a flow, S0 is substrate concentration in influent, and S is substrate concentration in effluent. So we can calculate how much oxygen is required for your reactor. So based on those equations which I just uh, mentioned, you can solve for example uh, 7-6 and try to see also example 7-1 to 7-5. But this one is, is actually design of complete mixed suspended growth process. So you solve it. This one is solved problem. If you see here, some things are given. The flow is given, the Q is given. BSCOD, BSCOD is S0, substrate concentration. Non-biodegradable volatile suspended solid is given. And inert inorganic given, uh, and then mixed liquor volatile suspended solid is X is given. U using the data and the kinetic coefficient given below, the kinetic coefficient are given, means uh, this kinetic coefficient are given, which has KS value, K value, KD value, and yield coefficient value for that base order. 6J SRT, the SRT is, is given, let us say is given in six days. This thing is and you can map to, to, to calculate this, this term. You can easily do if you if you follow the previous section, especially from here 592 to 596 in this equation which I mentioned to you. Then you can solve it easily. And also this this ratio is given biomass BSS TSS is 0.85 means uh means this term. You have to divide this term with 0.85. Sometimes it is 0.8, sometimes 0.85. Usually it is range 0.5, 0.8 to 0.85. Yeah. 
if it is not given then you must assume it as i mentioned to you if it is the biomass 80% of biomass is volatile suspended solid if it is tss 80% 80 to 85% and also you have to read section 8.1 to 8.4 and try to attempt example 8.2 i i don't want you to i mean read it uh, for beauty in one because this 8.2 is very long uh, example which has two part beauty removal and nitrate removal uh, we have covered this section but i will come back to this section again when i will talk uh, on membrane bioreactor but anyway you please go and read this 8.2 for beauty removal later on when we will talk about nitrogen removal then also you can do part a and part b you can you can solve both this is the example which is which is very relevant for your homeworks for your project for your final exam i will give something from this uh, example in in the in the final exam you must use this example in your project which is related to wastewater also i will give something from this to your homework so it is lengthy very long and it has some more thing like uh, it has some more uh, information uh, which let, let me see when i i cannot open uh, it has some where where your wastewater treatment plant is located and what will be the oxygen uh, what will be the pressure uh, as compared to sea uh, uh, level pressure atmospheric pressure and you have to consider those things so if you if you feel come that thing complicated you can ignore all those things but it's not that complicated i recommend you to read all all the example okay uh, about uh, the about the activity such process which you were talking anyway i stop here uh, stop sharing i want you to ask any question if you have yes sir i have a question yes what what question sir uh, ye screen nazar aa rahi hai aapko ha hmm sir jaise yahan pe ye hamara aeration tank hai aur ye ke baad hamara sedimentation basin hai to जैसे हम हम सेडिमेंटेशन बेसन से पहले कोगुलेशन आता है ये आती है इससे तो ये जो एरिएशन टैंक है ये हम कोगुलेशन से पहले लगाएंगे पहले तो नहीं लगा सकते डेफिनेटली बाद में लगाएंगे अगर बाद में हम लगाते हैं तो अगर यहाँ पे हम कोगुलेशन टैंक लगाते हैं तो कोगुलेशन को भी तो सेटल होना पड़ेगा ना पहले तो उसके बाद ही जो है यहाँ से स्लैश निकलेगा ना तो ये कहाँ पे हम एडजस्ट करेंगे जो ये एरिएशन टैंक है ओके एक्चुअली यूर मिक्सिंग यूर मिक्सिंग वाटर ट्रीटमेंट एंड वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट the coagulation if you if you want to remove solids from the uh, liquid uh, i will stop you here and i will show i'll discuss here yeah so if you can see this right if this is uh, in front and you want to remove solid from uh here usually for waste water treatment we have a, a screen or screens we we stop the larger object from here and then usually we use a tank we call it grid chamber so grid so sand or some larger particle which can settle easily can be removed from here then we have a primary clarifier the primary clarifier remove the suspended solid and then we have aeration tank 
and then we have secondary clarifier. This is a this is a, uh, conventional flow diagram. We don't use coagulation in here because this is wastewater. So we try to use as less as possible chemical energy and we focus on biological treatment. Because biological treatment consume biological logical biological treatment consume less less energy and less chem no chemical so you see here from here to here i did not talk about adding any chemical so we just use some physical uh, operation unit operation so just settling down settling down by gravity and then Biological, biological reactor here, and then settling down again, microorganism, and then we get clean water. There is no chemical addition because we don't want to waste money in, in wastewater. It is not wastewater, but actually, it is. We I don't like to call it wastewater. But anyway, we don't want to waste money in wastewater. Now, coagulation is why we add coagulation in water treatment. Water treatment. We have uh, coagulation and then flocculation and then uh, sedimentation and then sand filter because the suspended solid concentration or is very low. Here particles are colloidal colli particle, colloidal particle, right? The colloidal particle is very small, it's one micrometer up to one micrometer. We want to make it big and big so that it settles down. And even remaining is small, we trap in the sand filter. This is for waste water treatment. But for wastewater treatment, wastewater has already a lot of solids. We have to stop them here in skin and then remove the grit, whatever we can remove. And remaining suspended solid we can remove here. Now, whatever solids are present, we don't need to remove. Let them come in the ration tank. And they will be consumed. So part of those will be consumed and in tap with biomass. And it will be separated from biomass. And then we can waste it. But some will come up here. Xe will not be zero. X will, Xe will have some value. Okay, let it come here depending on what you want to do. If you want to discharge in a stream, and in, in, in that stream you have Xe, some concentration of, of solid equal to this Xe or, or more than, then you can easily do it. If government does not allow it, then you can use here some other uh, method like a sand filter to remove this remaining SE and you get clean water, relatively clean water, and then you can throw it in the stream or in river or lake or whatever you want to. So you don't go for drinking of this water. Here, the purpose is drinking. Here, the purpose is throw in environment, okay? The purpose is different. So we don't have to waste money for adding chemical. We add chemical here. But here we did not. We add maybe chemical here which is disinfectant, chlorine. Other than that, no chemical. But here we add chemical to make the particle bigger and bigger because they are already very small. Here particles initially are bigger and bigger. And we, we, can, we can remove up to a certain level but no need to remove more colloidal particle. Let colloidal particle go in in the aeration tank. They will be in trapped with biomass and will be separated from biomass. Otherwise, they will be removed from sand filter if there is need. Uh, otherwise, let them go to the environment. Did I answer your question? Uh, yes, sir. But, sir, uh... ये जो हमारा जो वाटर ट्रीटमेंट है इसमें जब सेडिमेंटेशन लगाते तो उसमें भी अगर किसी में थोड़ी बहुत अगर बीओडी या सीओडी हाई है तो मैं भी जो है किसी के वाटर सैंपल में 
तो वो सेडिमेंटेशन क्वालिटी पार्टी के से मिलके वो बड़े फ्लॉक बना के और सेडिमेंटेशन सेटल डाउन होंगे तो वो भी तो उसकी भी तो एक्सरसाइज थोड़ी बहुत तो बनेगी तो उससे हम ऐसे ही डिस्चार्ज कर देंगे या उसको भी हम कुछ ट्रीटमेंट वगैरह देंगे तो उसके लिए भी कोई सिस्टम होगा ना या नहीं कहां पे यहां वाटर ट्रीटमेंट में जी सर वाटर ट्रीटमेंट में अगर कहीं सेडिमेंटेशन यहां पे सेडिमेंटेशन यहां पे ये सेडिमेंटेशन में सलज जनरेट होएगा ना this sludge can be sent to uh no 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 there this sludge can be sent um, can be sent to sludge treatment sludge treatment and this sludge treatment can be can be a physical process can be like adding more uh, chemical making more thick then making some compress filtration or it can be combined with with this sludge and the sludge is coming here this sludge and then can be biological treatment so we will discuss later on about sludge treatment but usually we don't add chemical in in in, in waste water treatment usually for biological treatment we do, we add some oxygen of course here but other, other than that no water treatment if there is a sludge the sludge treatment may have certain step that is thickening and then thickening need some chemical coagulant and then it can be filter press it needs also some chemical which makes thick or it can send to the biological biological sludge treatment with with the sludge is coming here from the waste water treatment biological treatment treatment is usually uh, aerobic and anaerobic both we will talk later on about this one this sludge treatment we will come back to this one later sludge so treatment is another topic so are you satisfied now yes sir okay any other question from any any else any one else har question hai mere paas sir har waste water treatment train ke liye sedimentation टैंक बनाना इसलिए जरूरी है यहाँ पे जो एरेशन टैंक में जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ग्रो होंगे माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म जो ग्रो होंगे उसको पानी से अलग तो करना है ना तो कैसे करेंगे वो उसको सेडिमेंटेशन टैंक से अलग करेंगे तो फिर ताकि ताकि आपका फ्री फ्रॉम प्राइमरी 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 अब आपका वेस्ट 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 वाटर 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 आ आ रहा रहा है 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 ये ट्रीटमेंट जो आई आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही सही जोर से दोबारा बोलिए नहीं मेरे ट्रीटमेंट जो होता है सर उसके अंदर जरूरी तो नहीं है सेडिमेंटेशन कोई टैंक टैंक लगाना क्योंकि अगर हम डेफ का प्रोसेस यूज कर रहे हैं डिसॉल्व एयर फ्लोटेशन तो उसके अंदर डेफ में ही जो उसकी प्रोसेसिंग होती है कोआगुलेंस की और फ्लोटेशन वो वहीं पे जो है हमारी डिसॉल्व डिसॉल्व एयर फ्लोटेशन इटसेल्फ इज अ सेडिमेंटेशन टैंक डिसॉल्व एयर फ्लोटेशन इज अ सेडिमेंटेशन टैंक बट इन सम बायोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट हम नहीं चाहते कि बहुत सस्पेंडेड सॉलिड यहां आ जाए हम चाहते हैं कि बायोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट में माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म को जो भी मिले वो सॉलिबल हो या कोलाइडल हो देन बेस्ड ऑन दिस बट समाइम वी कैन कंबाइन दिस बोर्ड इन वन टाइम आई विल टॉक अबाउट दिस आल्सो बट रिमेम्बर दिस आई टॉक अबाउट दिस इक्वेशन ड्राइव दोस इक्वेशन आर बेस्ड ऑन सम अजम्पन and this assumption which i forgot to mention in detail are here 
these are the assumption for activated search process complete mixing is achieved in the aeration tank we assume that in aeration tank mixing is complete influence substrate concentration remain constant means s not remain constant no microbial solid concentration in the raw wastewater to the aeration tank as i told x not is equal to zero no microbial activity occurs in the secondary clarifier it means that sw is equal to s no sludge accumulate in the secondary clarifier and a reasonable efficiency of solid liquid separation is is accomplished all biodegradable substrate is in the soluble form so substrate which is coming in s not must be in the soluble form and then a steady state condition prevail means when we, when we make mass balance with this assumption we set up the mass balance equation and then we calculate it and we arrived on on this equation it is based on the substrate is soluble by Bio, biodegradable substrate is soluble if it is soluble then microorganism can can consume it otherwise it will be difficult for microorganism to consume so to make the substrate soluble as much as soluble we have to add uh, primary clarifier to remove all suspended because they are not soluble so we remove all soluble or suspended solid and rem remain only soluble should go here so that microorganism can can eat it right in ideal form some collateral particle i mean in, in practical way in practical um, uh, manner some 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 collateral particle also go in but it's okay so we have to add primary clarifier to remove all suspended solid so the substrate which is which should be consumed should be soluble did i answer your question yes sir yes sir but in some reactor we can combine both of them together i will talk about a little bit later or in next class because i have a meeting at 11:30 so we have 15 minutes any other question from any anybody else anjum are you here anjum yes sir do you have any question no sir Safia, do you have any question? Yes, sir. No, no, sir. Yes, sir. No, no, sir. Come up to me, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Hi, sir. Do you have any question? No, sir. Okay. So, I better stop here because I want to discuss a little bit more. Uh, about uh, some variation of exploration <clears throat> process which will take some time so there are some variation of active research process did i talk about this variation in last semester no right no sir no sir so i will discuss no, sir. No. This. but i have one virtual a tour of base water in plant i sent you a link did you see this i mean did you watch it yes sir yes sir all of you yes sir maine to dekhi thi sir okay and uh, please watch it okay so we will meet uh, day after tomorrow in this uh, actually i want to have a break because today is 25 i let me stop first recording